of this. Half miles, and that certainly doesn't bode well for the rush hour. I'm sure a lot of uh, locals are trying to beat the uh, rush and get out of work early and uh, try to deal with these roadways. Best bet is to give yourself extra time and extra distance, and you'll be okay. Heading out to the three New York City airports, LaGuardia, Newark, JFK. <laughs> Boy, talk about delays an hour or more on arrival and departure. Check with your air carrier. There have also been uh, quite a few cancellation of flights, so check ahead before you head out there, whether you're flying out or picking up a friend or a business associate. As far as the weather, it's going to get better. It does get better, but not very quickly. Uh, it's going to continue to be very cold tonight. Temperatures will slowly rise to about freezing uh, near the coast in the city by early in the morning. So th that should uh, really improve the roads in, uh, say, Midtown, out through Brooklyn, and out on the island by, uh, say, 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning for the uh, rush hour. But here, back away from the water in the interior, it's going to be a while longer before we get above freezing. So there's going to be a longer period of freezing rain. That's right, this snow is going to change over to freezing rain and start sticking on the power lines and tree limbs. So we're also concerned about those of you living back here in Rock, uh, Westchester counties, over in parts of Fairfield County, Connecticut, and Northwest Jersey, of possible power outages. So a lot to uh, be concerned with. But the first thing is we want to get you home safe. And don't worry about getting home on time. Just give yourself some extra distance, and you'll be OK. We'll keep you uh, certainly updated of the roads, the airports, right on through this evening from the metro New York City area. Back to you, Rich. All right, thank you, Mike. We'll check back with you in about 30 more minutes. That's Mike Seidel out of uh, just north of New York City over toward the Tappan Zee Bridge. Well, as we take a look at what's going on out across the region, 18 degrees in New York City. Mike was north of New York City over toward uh, uh, the southern end of the Hudson Valley and continuing to see the cold air in the teens there too, but up at Albany, minus six. And that is going to be part of the problem, setting the stage for this cold air uh, foundation and we're seeing the precipitation come up and over. Mike Seidel, he is located right about here. That's a Tappan Zee Bridge area uh, north of New York City. And notice uh, not so much precipitation, but it should start increasing as the day wears on, and especially into tonight. Closer to Boston, precipitation coming at you in two different angles. Actually, we're seeing some of that ocean effect snow that is coming in as the winds are blowing from the northeast up toward Cape Ann. Although it doesn't look very impressive, we're seeing some of these bands coming on in and the snow, and it is actually pretty heavy at times. Meanwhile, in the western part of the state, we're looking at the snow continuing to head on in. That is actually due to what we call overrunning, meaning we have that dome of high pressure and a large area of moisture coming up and over that dome. So a lot of Massachusetts and southern New England in snow or a bit of a mixture. Some of the bands of snow from the ocean effect in eastern Massachusetts, especially over to around Plymouth County, south of Boston, out toward uh, Amington, eight to nine inches of snow last check, but actually there may be a little bit more than that. So some rough conditions in New England. Down to Baltimore and D.C., you're looking at just a bit of freezing drizzle, the worst part of the storm over. Tonight you'll see rain. Over to Philadelphia, you still have a shot at some more freezing rain as the cold air is taking a bit more time to get out of your region. Over to Rochester, New York, we have some lake effect snow coming on in, and many times we don't see the lake effect in Rochester because the winds for a big lake effect over at uh, Rochester need to be blowing out of the northeast or east, and that is exactly what we have today. So yesterday into the Midwest, you saw your storm today. It is heading to the Mid-Atlantic, and it is really tonight into tomorrow that this storm starts cranking up. Good news for the northeast around the big cities because what we'll find is that air coming in off the Atlantic, and that is going to allow that warmer moisture and more, uh, warmer air to come on in from the Atlantic, but interior sections, watch out. There's going to be significant icing tonight into tomorrow. So a wide variety of things going on across New England. Keep it here at the Weather Channel. If you can't be here watching on your TV set, check it out on your computer at weather.com. Now let's head back to the studio with Janetta. She has much more about what's going on in the south and west and your complete national forecast. All right, thanks, Rich.